defeat your looks match. It'll ensure you don't get blown out the water by approaching girls who are too high above, and you won't face the dire con- Said and done. I think the safest option is clearly to- She's no longer- She's no longer good enough. And she'll discover is that somewhere over the course of the relationship, you've moved the goalpost to the side she's no longer good enough for you. Even though she was at the beginning, otherwise you wouldn't have asked for the relationship in the first place. Anyway, after all that is said and done, I think the safest option is clearly to date your looks match. It'll ensure you don't get blown out the water by approaching girls who are too high above, and you won't face the dire consequences from dating women below like I outlined in this video. Unfortunately though, this still leads to one more unsettled question. Which is, how do I know if I'm actually approaching my looks match and shooting my shot with those within my league? Fam, you don't have to be, as a man, that extremely good looking. Let me tell you something right now. With women, looks do not matter that much. You just need to be a little bit above average. And I'm telling you right now, most men don't have anything wrong with their face where they can't make themselves above average, yeah? Just get a decent haircut, work on your fashion, work on your style, carry yourself a certain way. You're good enough to be above average in that. The problem is most people don't want to put in the fucking work. Obviously, if you're a bit out of shape and overweight and that, you need to slim down. You don't need to be hench, yeah? You don't need to be Arnold Schwarzenegger or Ronnie Coleman and that, but you need to be slim and trim in good little shape. Little biceps and that, you get me a little, yeah? Little cut hair and there and that, you know what I'm saying, innit? Yeah, but wear clothes that fit you. Get a decent haircut, groom yourself. That will take any guy that's average to a above average. Yeah, I'm not saying you're going to be a 10. What I'm saying is that'll take a 5 to a 7, 8. Easily. With good fashion and that, good style, good grooming. You're in shape and that. Like I say, you don't need to be hench. You don't need to look like Ronnie Coleman and that. You will go from a 5 to a 7. Every and most, most men can do that. Most men. Most men do not have no deformity in their face where they can't upgrade themselves from a 5 to a 7 or 8. Easily. Easily. You don't, you don't have to be that good looking. A girl just has to see you as a little bit above average. She has to look at you and think, if someone mistook this guy, mistaken this guy for my boyfriend, I would be embarrassed. If a girl looks at you and thinks, if someone thought that's my boyfriend, I would be embarrassed. Well, then you got a problem there, isn't it? But if she thought, if someone mistaken that guy for being my boyfriend, would I be embarrassed in that? If the answer's no, then you're good looking enough. You just need to be passable. You just need to get your foot in the door. There's certain guys that think, in order to get a girl, you need to be six foot three. You need to make a million pounds a month. You need to have a chin jawline made out of granite and that, and be some genetic wonder with green eyes and curly hair. Bullshit, blood. All the man then that you see walking down the road with gal, do they fit that archetype? Do they look like that? The answer's no. So you know you don't have to be that good looking to get a gal. Yeah? Just go out into the public yeah? and look and observe these people. All of these guys that talk on the net like, oh, you need to be some smooth talking ladies, man. You need to have hella charisma to get gal. All the man them that you know that have gal, all the gal them that you know that have a man, are any of the guys in the equation, are they some smooth talking ladies, man? All the man that you see walking down the road, do you think they have this gift of the gab? That they can fucking just have women dance into the, the, the sound of their voice like they're the fucking pipe pipe. But the answer's no, man. Stop, stop listening to all this nonsense on the internet. They have to be some fucking top tier 10 out of 10 guy to, to get gal and that. Like I said in my videos before, you don't even need money to get girls. There's girls right now chasing after broke guys, blood. There's a gal who, I heard a story, a tenant told me her son... The missus broke up with him and cheated on him with a guy that is sofa surfing who's got other women on the side, who has no money, yeah? And he is what you call a high-value male on paper. Got a um, good job, he's got his own business, got his own property and that, he's doing well for himself. She still left his ass for some broke guy who's sofa surfing, who's chasing after other women. You don't need money, fam. I'm not saying you shouldn't get money. I'm saying you should get money for yourself and for your future offspring and that, but you don't need money to get gal. Because it's very possible a man thinks he's approaching women on his level, but in reality, he's being completely delusional with who he thinks he has a chance with. So, 
To provide tailored answers to this question, I found the solution by selling face ratings on Fiverr for a Fiverr, which is an ex Blood, I am not, <laughs> I am not contacting no one so that they can rate me. <laughs> Let me tell you something right now, yeah. I go to these tenants' houses and just the way they react and that, I know. I don't need to, if I ever question myself, because I look in the mirror and know I'm good looking anyway, but I wouldn't even need that reassurance from myself. Like, I, I get it from the tenants. I'll go to some of these tenants' houses and that. How many stories I got to tell? I remember went to some woman's house one time. White woman, and uh, she said, oh, my nieces are upstairs and now whatever in here. So let me know when you need to go upstairs. I'll show you around where the sockets are and that. Cool. She was like, she shouted out to the nieces, make sure you're dressed and that. There's a good looking electrician coming upstairs and that. I've pulled up outside some block. It's called Paget House, some ghetto ass block in Northampton and that. There was one girl screaming out of the window because I was talking to her mum. <laughs> I went to one tennis house the other day, well, a couple months ago. No, longer than that. What am I talking about? I think it was last year. Um, the, the mum, I was in the house talking to the mum, the little girl was upstairs, she's like 15 years old, she didn't even see me, she shouted down to the mum, mum, is he fit? She was like, oh, yeah, he's good looking, she was like, because he sounds fit, they, they even think the way I speak is nice, <laughs> I've gone to tennis houses before, like, there's this woman, she's like 60 years old, kind of like a crackheady kind of woman or whatever, but her daughter was there, she's like 35, dead thing as well. Um, I said to her, ah, oh, do you live in this area, obviously, yeah? She was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, is your place council or is it um, private rented or housing association? She's like, no, I've got a council house. I just live two minutes around the corner. And I was like, oh, you will have this test done as well, innit? So if you see a letter from my company, just make sure you respond to it because they start issuing out fines to people. She was like, oh, okay, cool. She was like, well, yeah, if you're coming to my house, yeah, come around lunchtime, I'll make you food and that. <laughs> How many electricians, yeah, <laughs> get women that are telling them, yeah, when you come around, I'll cook for you and that? But listen, when girls think you're hot, they just want to serve you. They just want to serve, they want to, they want to compliment you. I go to the other, oh, you smell nice and that, yeah? It's not just because man's wearing like Tom Ford or Savage and that. It's their way of on slide complimenting you. Because some women ain't going to be that upfront and tell, oh, you're good looking and that. Obviously, the tents have told me to my face plenty of times. They think I'm good looking and that. Um, obviously, and that's the ones that are vocal about it. What about the ones that aren't vocal about it? Yeah, so... <laughs> I'm not go I'm not contacting no one <laughs> to get rated. That's foolishness. Extremely cheap way to know where you stand so you can then adjust how you should be calibrating yourself in the dating markets. Like who's really gonna pay for this fucking service, blood? Five pounds, five dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty-five dollars. Come on, blood. This has been a very popular service. I've sold several thousand of these and have three thousand five star reviews. What? He sold several thousand. So he said he had 3,000 five-star reviews. So let's say, for example, let's do the maths on this. Several thousand. He's saying three, he's got 3,000 reviews. So this guy, oh my God. So men's low self-esteem is so high. It's such a peak right now that this guy was able to make a minimum of 50. $15,000. Men's self, self esteem is so low that this guy was actually able to generate $15,000. Because if we go with the bare minimum, which is a $5 package times 3,000, we get to the figure of $15,000. This guy was able to make $15,000 just because of men's low self esteem. How pathetic is that? Let me tell you something right now. I am not paying no $5 to contact some white boy with ginger hair so that I can have reassurance whether or not I'm good looking or not. The hell, blood? There are also other packages available, so if you're interested in an explanation of your strengths and weaknesses and how you can improve, you can upgrade to a higher package. Dumbass. The hell, blood?